Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle. And as I'm recording this, it's been right about uh, one week since the attack in Boston, since the Boston Marathon bombings. And to the great credit of the FBI and other law enforcement agencies involved, we've captured and or killed both of the terrorists responsible for the individual bombing. So go team, that's good. But what we have to ask ourselves right now is, do you believe that little Johnny and Jimmy Jihad were working on their own, that they were lone operators and they just hatched this plot all on their own? Well, I think if you believe that, you're probably a little bit naive. After 9-11, what did we find out? We found out that all the hijackers in the 9-11 attacks were members of a network of terrorists that they had trained with other terrorists. Now, little Johnny and Jimmy Jihad uh, are Chechens. If you don't know anything about Chechen Muslims or the Chechen terrorists, ask a Russian friend or do a little bit of research. If you have not researched the Bezlan Bravo Echo Sam Lincoln Adam Nora Bezlan School Massacre, you need to take a moment and do that and see exactly what Chechen Muslim terrorists are all about. And here's what you need to ask yourself. You see, you say, do I believe that these guys worked on their own or do I believe that they're a part of a group of bad guys, uh, a terrorist cell? And is it possible that there are other Muslim terrorists already in the United States planning to do harm to us? What do you think, America? It's time to harden up. You have a choice to make in the wake of the Boston attack. You can say, I'm a helpless victim and I'm just going to throw my hands up and hope that some benevolent government agency like the Department of Homeland Security or TSA keeps me safe. Or I'm going to take steps to secure my own family and to secure my own life. I am going to do as an individual American citizen, I'm going to harden up. Now you're probably, if you're watching this, chances are really good that some of you have already hardened up and what you want to ask yourself is, what can I do to improve? What can I do to improve my skill set? What can I do to improve my kit or my gear? So you can either say, I'm a helpless victim and there's nothing I can do to protect myself or I'm going to harden up and I'm going to be the American winner and the American victor that this was that founded this country. This country was not founded by victims. The United States of America was not founded, grown, and developed by a bunch of victims that look to this benevolent dictatorship or this benevolent government. Well, make my life better, please. No, bullcrap. You're responsible. You, as an individual American citizen, are responsible. And if you know people that don't want to be responsible, stay away from them. Stay away from those people. Work with people that, are, that feel like, hey, I'm an American. Americans are winners. Americans are not victims. It's not time to cower in the shadows and say, oh, I'm afraid of you. I don't want to offend you, Johnny Jihad. It's time to be bold. And that's one of the reasons I'm wearing my uh, Johnny Jihad commemorative t-shirt here. And I also have my Jihad commemorative hat right there with my little piggy on it. That's my anti-Jihad hat. So the question I'm posing to you guys right out there is, do you want to be a victim or do you want to be a winner? The choice is up to you. Now, the book of the day is a good book for our subject, subject matter. It's called Principles of Personal Defense by the late Jeff Cooper, Colonel Jeff Cooper. And if you've not read this book, A, shame on you, but it's okay. We're going to put the link up right below there and you can order it right now from Amazon. Pick it up, read it. It's not a long read but it's packed full of solid information for you, the armed American citizen. So it's called Principles of Personal Defense. It's by Jeff Cooper. You need to pick one up and you need to go ahead and read it. For all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com.